Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson is keeping an eye on things. Hey, good evening, guys. Yeah, we're keeping a watchful eye on the radar. Unfortunately, I think it's going to be one of those nights where it gets pretty stormy as folks really try to go to bed. But if you've got something to do here this evening, I think you're in fairly decent shape. Let me show you how radar is looking right now. We do have some showers that are trying to work their way in to our southwestern most communities, but the real action has been flaring up along this warm front draped from Indiana back to the south of Louisville and Lexington. Big time nasty storms blew up along this front earlier today. This warm front is lifting in our direction. Now, some of the showers and storms are running well ahead of that front. So what has been happening, and you'll see it here, they've been weakening as they move north. So I don't expect a severe threat around here early this evening. In fact, most of us are going to stay dry and quiet. Now, south of the Ohio River, certainly there could be some scattered showers this evening from like places in Mount Olivet, Robertson County, on up through Pendleton, Grant, and Owen counties, as I've been saying. South of the 71 75 split, a few showers, but this activity is not severe. Same story up through parts of Ripley County, a few showers here. So the best chance for a little bit of rain early this evening is south of the Ohio River, but I'm not worried about severe weather. That changes though after dark, and it changes the later we go into the night as well. Thunderstorm, thunderstorm chances go up along with the threat for maybe some strong, severe storms as well, especially after 9 or 10 o'clock tonight. Then it's all out of here by Friday morning. Our greatest concern by far and away damaging winds. I think there will be a lot of lightning. Again, it can be very noisy overnight. The threat for hail and maybe some heavy rainfall. This very well could end up being the biggest legacy of any storms tonight. The potential for localized areas of flooding. Now, the tornado threat is just that very low tonight, but it's not zero. So that will be something we're watching as well. Few, uh, I think Futurecast does a good job showing how things play out this evening. Notice through the evening, a lot of us again stay dry. So if you want to go out, grab dinner, enjoy the patio, you've got time to do that even though it looks a little ugly out. I think after 9 or 10, watch what happens. New storms develop across the area. It turns noisy while we try to sleep. Some of the rain could be heavy. I think the sky lights up and then by sunrise, this is pulling away from the area. It's 79 right now here in Cincinnati. Look at that dew point at 67. It is going to stay warm and muggy through the night tonight. Hence the reason why there should be ample fuel for some of these storms to produce very heavy rainfall as we get deeper into the night. So again, after 9 or 10, the threat for strong storms and severe weather goes up for just about everyone. We'll get down to about 65 by morning with some lightning and thunder through the night. Tomorrow, warm sunshine with muggy breezes. Think early June as we climb into the mid 80s. But you know what? This is good news. If you've got Friday night plans, the weather looks fine. Just feels a little bit like summer out there. Here's your seven day forecast weekend plans. You'll be dodging showers and storms, especially in the afternoon and evening on Saturday. Look at that almost to 90 there. And then on Sunday, the best chance for rain will come during the first half of the day, probably around lunchtime and earlier. Kevin, thank you. The Reds taking care of business.